The dark mode extension allows you to easily darken the web with dark mode at any given time, typically at night time. To use this extension, we simply start by adding it to our browser. Upon adding it to our browser, we then have the ability to pin it. After this has been pinned, we then see the option inside our browser toolbar. So we can go ahead and start testing this. So let's visit a website as an example, such as Wikipedia. Now we can go ahead and toggle dark mode on. Upon doing so, you see that the whole page becomes dark. Yet other elements become light on the black background or dark background to allow us to see them more clearly. And we can toggle that off again. Using the extension at its core is as simple as that. However, this extension goes a step further and has additional options. So if we go ahead and look at the options panel, we can see there's lots of different options inside. First of all, we can see that there's currently custom dark styles for specific websites. So for example, Wikipedia is one of those websites. We then have general styles that we can choose for any website that isn't within that list. And then we have other styles here as well. So for example, if we turn off the Wikipedia style, it then adopts the general style here, which is simply dark three. If we look at this tab, we can see it's different than before. It's got a slight brown hue to it. We can go ahead and change this to midnight dark. And again, you can see this has changed in the tab again. We can then also change this to coffee dark. And you can see there's lots of different options available. Or you can pre-select as we see here. So for any website that isn't selected from this list, we can go ahead and write this here. We then have further options. One of these options is to add custom CSS styling to a theme or to a dark mode. So what we could go ahead and do is we could add this here and let's get the CSS function from here as an example. So let's have a look at this element. So let's take this and we're gonna make this red. So we go ahead and write functionality that says that ID should be red. Now this is gone ahead and saved. We turn off the Wikipedia aspect. And there we go. We can see this element here has been read because it's taken the custom CSS. The rest of the page is currently white because I haven't set that within this custom CSS, but you can see that functionality attached here. Let's go ahead and put another dark mode back on. And we can see it goes back here, or we can change it back to the Wikipedia preset, and it goes back to how we wish to see it. And there's lots of presets available. For example, Bing. When we go to bing.com with the preset on, we see the page looks as we want it to. When we turn the preset off, we can see certain things are removed, such as some of the images. So the presets really are handy in having the top websites that you would visit be preset for dark mode configured. On top of this, you have one functionality left, which is the exclude option. What this allows you to do is it allows you to turn on dark mode but exclude websites so sometimes they always are viewed within the standard mode. For example, if we type in Wikipedia here and then we go to Bing, we can see this is currently in a dark mode. Go ahead and open a new tab and go to Wikipedia. And we can see this is still in light mode because it has the exclusion set. If we go ahead and write a comma depleted list and we write bing.com and we go to this website, it's back to being light. Even though the dark mode is obviously set here, it doesn't matter if we turn it on or off, the website is excluded. So this shows you the different features that are behind this extension. The ability to exclude certain domains from going into dark mode. The ability to set your own custom dark mode theme using CSS as well as the presets available for both your own custom stylings as well as preset websites. Then simply by the flick of the toggle, you can turn the dark mode on and off on a website.